Hello friends, let's today continue our INIC app, Android app and apply push notification. So today we'll see how to implement push notification in Android device through 5S. So to do this, basically what we have to do, we have to open the 5S and open Firebase console and create on add project. Enter the name of your project. So suppose our app is love calculator. So we we'll keep the same. Continue. Just continue this, give it a few seconds. It will be ready within a few seconds. Now there are a few steps and I'm doing it for Android. And for Android, it is very easy. But for iOS, it is much more complicated. And I'll show you for the uh, Android device only, not for iMac. So let this create the app for us. And meanwhile, we also need to, okay, it's done. So let's continue. So here it is. <clears throat> we'll go to Android section. So this will be the package name and where you will get it. You need to open your app capacitor config, then copy the same and give it here. That's all. Register your app. So you need this file. So download this Google services JSON file and so copy this one first and put it inside your Android app folder. So just paste it here. That's it for, for the configuration part. Now continue and go to next. We'll come to this section later on. For now, just next, next, and then just open your terminal and NGGS push notification service. It will create a service file here. And then just make use of this one. Now you, what we have to do, basically we have to go to the capacitor guidance guide for this post notification firebase. So basically just copy a few things. Just copy this. Okay. And we, what we have to do initially, so on page load, we'll need to do, we need to register our application. So I will call a, uh, we'll create a function here. So um, register, register the function, and here we'll just call push notification dot register. Basically, uh, in Android device, as you can see, automatically grant permission. But for iOS device, it's more secure. You need to get the permission, right? So this block is required. So I'm creating for Android. Just so skipping this to add some event listener. Once registration done, so we'll need to alert or console that token so it will generate a token for this user basically it will generate the token and we're going to need this one because we will send the notification to particular to this token that means this device will get the notification and the same way we will add notification error okay leave it as alert now a few more things when so this is the registration this is the error and when push notification received so it will alert in the app that this is the put notification we have received right here the last section is this one which will be the event listener for action platform to import this one in your app component you can use this one in any other sections also if you record but for now i will do it in the app component Now on the initialize app on init section, register the app. That's it for for the development perspective. Now build the app. Let's see if we're getting an error. We should get basically for the it's not a web component. We don't have web implementation for this. So no worries. Just build.
now the app is installed in the mobile device now what we have to do we have to uh, debug we have to open our chrome dev tool and just we have to inspect the app we have to open the dev tool and we have to inspect the app and here we'll get the token so let's see where we have the token so we should have is registration token is this one you can see push registration success token is this one and this is basically uh, push registration success and on success it will be this is the message now we get that token okay just copy this thing copy this just go to your firebase application and go to cloud messaging send your first message right you can now close the app in your mobile device so notification Just click on this one and see one alert message is coming let's try one more time with some different message and click on the submit message send message then select the token then send okay it's coming so this is how we perform the push notification